uh, macros for Battle Pirates would uh, go through the, the key question that was asked was how to install Auto Hotkey and how to set up your first macro. So it would be a real short video, um, it's just going to go for the absolute basics. So when you Google Auto Hotkey, um, this is the first page that comes up, okay, and this is the correct page, or you can just go in autohotkey.com uh, and this is what you'll find. And this is the area you want to go is to click on the installer, okay, double click on the installer, which is an EXE program which makes it dead simple for Windows, you just follow the instructions, double click on it, and then the bottom you'll notice then that you've got a, uh, uh, the file will come up, which is the auto installer basically, and then double click. It'll ask you if you want to confirm to do the change to your PC, um, and you just say yes. Now for me personally, I've got this installed already, so I've got a repair and modifier on install, so I don't want to do any of those, but it would normally come up just install on there. So let it go forward. Once it's installed, you'll just go back actually to this page and you'll think it didn't work, nothing happened. Well, that's because it works in the background and it's a slightly different program as to what you'd expect. So we'll have a look at what to do next, because I think this is where people are getting a little bit lost. <clears throat> right, excuse me. So on the desktop then, and here I've got a clear desktop, and you can see one file that I've already called BP. Okay, but I know I'll come back to that in a second. But what we need to do then basically is on the desktop now, if we right click our mouse button and we go down to new, you'll see your file that's just popped up now, a new one called auto hotkey with the script. So what we're going to do basically is click on that, and you'll notice then a file drops up on the on the on your desktop uh, and it's a new script. Now I'll call that BP2. Okay, and then basically just click off of it, and then that's our file saved. Now to go and edit that file, which is actually the script, your first script, okay, is you hover the mouse over it, and then you right-click at it, and you go down to Edit Script. And there's a file, it pops up, okay. So in my first video, then, I mentioned about the four words of line that's already in there, the text information about the script. You don't have to put that in, it's already there by itself, and it's in every script that's created. What you do need to do then is basically click underneath those four words, okay, the four lines, sorry, and then just hit return. And then you start typing in your script. And remember the first thing you'll type in obviously is you know the it's the dollar sign on the keyboard, but it's it's the string variable. Okay. <clears throat> and then from then, you know, the key that you wish to operate this script with. Now for me personally, I like the end key because it's above you know, when you're using your arrow keys, okay, then the arrow up key is a select all. So naturally, the end key is the next button above that, so it's quite handy. So I just type in end. And then after that, then to start this off, basically, it's just that. That is it. Okay, and then you'll hit return then, and it'll be the first, whatever you want to do next. Okay, so when I press the end button, this script will start up. Now clearly, I've already got a script started with that function, so I don't want to use that. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close this down and don't save. Now, if I go to the one I've already saved for BP, which I showed in the first video, and I go to edit the script, and there it is. So there's the first one. <clears throat> so this is the, this is the, uh, the macro that controls in the game ships two, three, four, and five, leaving the lead ship, okay, which is normally a, you know a, a restricted hull or a special hull and that sort of stuff to go and do its own thing. Now, for things like the Omega uh, and, the, and the Savage, most people generally tuck them out of the way. Um, but clearly you can set this script up just to operate ships 4 and 5, maybe ships 4 and 5 are um, revenges or, or, some, or vendettas maybe, and you want to tuck them out of the way first while you go and do some business with the other ships. So by pressing the end key for me, it would operate and select those ships wherever I point the mouse and press the end key, that's where those ships would go. And I'd still be able to control the other ships with the normal function keys. So as you can see for this script here then, so we've got the, 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 the dollar sign, you know, or, um, and then it's end as I've typed in, and then you can, you know, the double dots twice, um, and then down to the send. So it's just sending the command to the keyboard, basically, and it's, and it's operate number pad number two, so that's ship two. Uh, and then I'm basically the next line is the sleep function, so that's in milliseconds, okay? So basically the computer has to have a little bit of time to uh, understand the instruction, uh, and then we move on to the mouse click. The mouse click, obviously, as it states there, click. And then basically we follow down through that link with the rest of the ships and send number pad three, sleep for a while, click, left mouse click, that is. The same for number four and same number five. And that's the script completed. Once you've written that in, you just simply click file and save. And then you can close that script. So how does it work in the game? Well, it's quite straightforward. All you actually have to do, um, if you notice down the bottom here then, 
I'll just close the old version. Um, on your key area then is basically go up to the script itself and then you just basically double click on the script. Double click on the script then and there it is, it pops up in the bottom right hand corner. It's active and it's live now. So whenever I press the end key now in the game, it's going to go live. So let's bring the game up and take a look, shall we? There's auto hotkey. Let's flip to Battle Pirates itself. We'll maximize the screen so we've got a better view. And we'll go out onto the onto the open sea. Now there should be a set of subs out here. And I always test this with subs, and it, I highly advise you to do the same. Because if you do make a mistake in your macro, then this time obviously you're not going to cause too much harm because you've got a bit of recovery time with your subs. If you do uh, make a mistake with a ship, uh, and obviously you slide into somebody else's weapons, that's good timing, isn't it? Um, you slide into somebody else's weapons, the enemy's weapons, and obviously you're going to take damage. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll, we'll show the context basically with a real basic hit on a, on a level 40 salvage. We'll wait for it to engage, and then we'll start. Now we'll, we'll just run through this one normally. So, so typically then, oh, the ships progress as we know. Um, and if I was to select key number one, obviously, which is automated, obviously as soon as you start your battle, as so long as the ship in number one, which it has to be, it's live, and then you can move it out of the way. As so the rest of the ships carry on and do their own thing. But if I actually move the mouse around, okay, I can actually pass them and press the end key. Look, they start to turn all their own accord, all four of them at the same time. And if I don't want to kill those last two, wherever I place the mouse, Which is why I've left the waypoint line on, so it's really, really obvious where it's going. Four ships. Now you can imagine this is um, Revenges, or it could be Apollos, or something like that. And they're stacked, and then they're going to come in now, all four together. And if I just click on that ship, highlight it, click the end key, I can just move the mouse out of the way, and then it'll go, and it'll attack that ship. But only that ship. It's not moving, look, it's not going to the next ship, nor until I take the mouse over for it, and I click on it. And then that's it, they're not moving again. So I'm not stepping away from the keyboard, I'm still controlling the battle. Okay, I'm just doing it a far more ergonomic way. We'll do one more just to confirm the process. Let's pick something a little bit more interesting. I'm going to hit the 65 up here. And this time then we'll send number one ship down the bottom, straight away to the dump, we'll go let's go, and we'll send the rest and we'll bunch them up instantly. We can do it here. Okay, now the bunch will just target the next ship. We'll take this one here. It's highlighted. We'll press the N key. All four subs are moving forward like on their own accord. They stop automatically. I'm hands free on the keyboard and they kill it. And they won't move until I tell it again. So you're controlling your ships, you're not away from the keyboard. It's not auto-engaging the target either. And that's it. Just a quick video, okay? And that's obviously the most basic of macros. And that macro stays live, obviously, um, right up until the point that you close it. And like I said, just to confirm quickly, to close it then is to bring up your menu. Sometimes it's on the hotbar, it just depends where it is in the toolbar, sorry. And it's just right-click and then just press exit. And you can pause the script if you want to. You can have two or three scripts running you know, for different types of fleets if you want. But um, basically, well, I just exit the script. And that keeps it really simple. It's sitting on my desktop. It doesn't have to be on the desktop. It can be wherever you want to. It's just easy to access it. Um, <clears throat> now, what I can do quite straightforward is if I open and exit, I edit this one here again. Edit. Uh, and what I'm going to do this time is I am going to um, just control a couple of ships, basically. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick up, uh, we'll pick up ships too. I'm going to copy this script across. Okay, 
with. So we're going to take out, we're going to check out ship number three. In fact, we'll take out ship three and four. Okay, so file and save. And this time, look, you can see, just to double check them, there's no script on the bottom running. So on BP2, double click on it, and there it is in the bottom right hand corner. We'll bring up the game again. We'll find my tiger subs. There they are there. And we'll go and hit another target. So this time I'm going to select all. I'm going to send it down to the bottom. And then I'm actually going to press the end key. And we're just going to operate those two subs to try and take over the fleet. Let's see if that works. So here's the, uh, we'll just enlarge the screen. There. So we're going to select all. We're going to select them again in the bottom corner, which they are. I'm going to put the mouse across and I get it's two subs left to come back up. So the three subs are going to the bottom right, uh, bottom left hand corner. My apologies. And the two subs that are remaining that I'm controlling, I'm going to turn and kill this ship first. I've not bunched them this time. It doesn't really matter. But that's all they're doing. They're not going to touch the other ships. They're not going to move. They're doing exactly what I tell them. Until I tell them to engage. There you go. Highlight, click end, engage that ship. Now the other ship doesn't have sonar, whereas this one does. So let's have a go at killing the sonar ship first. So even though the other one's closer and they first fight upon that one there, they won't actually kill it now until they finish killing the ship that I told them to do. And they're only auto firing this one is in the range. They're not going to engage the last ship until I tell them, so I'm highlighting it. You don't have to, you can just click on the scene that's close enough, but it's easier just to highlight it. Click the end key and those two subs. And as you can see, the other, the other subs are still in the bottom left hand corner and not engaging the battle at all. Okay, so that's a basic 101 of scripting, okay? And that's the auto hotkey, which is a free download. It doesn't cost anything at all. It is an aid to play. It, it isn't an automated system, it's not a hands free system. It still requires some hand eye coordination, okay? However, for those that are you know, got difficulty, um, you know, slight arthritis, that sort of stuff as well. Um, I've had a couple of people uh, email me and, and specifically ask about this program because they're having trouble coordinating combinations of fleets like the Vengeance and Vettas together. So this is going to make their life uh, considerably easier, I'm sure. Um, that's it. Um, I hope you uh, found it of interest. Uh, any other problems, then uh, please contact me via the TFC webpage. And uh, if not, uh, have a look at the Forsaken Council's webpage uh, itself, which is uh, the Forsaken Council. Uh, uh, dot co dot uk okay